Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonia Grayson Newman and this channel is all about helping the 50 plus women jumpstart their life, get their sassy back so that they can live the life of their desires. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing some tips with you, some simple, easy tips that can help you just kind of jumpstart and power up your goals, your resolutions that you may have made a few weeks ago that you haven't even started yet. So these tips are what help me to be more productive, more focused, and actually get more out of my days. And I know this is a difficult time right now. We're going through the pandemic. You might be at home more, working from home or on furlough. Things aren't how they used to be, but it might be an opportunity, if you wish, to start looking at the things that you want to achieve in your life. And maybe ask the question is, why haven't I got there? Why do I have the same goals and resolutions year in and year out? Now this video isn't particularly about goals and resolutions. I'll save that for another video. But what I'm gonna share with you today are some quick fire wins to help you be more productive in your day, to make space for those goals and those resolutions that you made maybe a few weeks ago. Even if you started the new year full of enthusiasm about actually getting stuff done, and right now you haven't done <laughs> don't worry we'll be covering some little tips to help you from there to soaring high time audit yes that's it time audit and what is a time audit well sometimes we look at things that we've got to do and we wonder why we haven't actually got it done we wonder why we're constantly on this hamster wheel with the thing that we want to do over here and us over here going spinning 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 and we can't actually get to this here there's no forward direction so one of the things that I'd like you to do is actually look at your time how are you spending your time so maybe take a, a, I say a week and plot your time write down everything when i say everything i mean everything <laughs> that you do on a daily basis for a week it will just give you an idea of where you're spending your time so this might be you wake up in the morning what's the first thing you do track it you know do you go for a run do you work out do you make breakfast do you scroll through social media do you look after family actually write down everything that you do. Are you spending 20 minutes on social media every day, first thing in the morning? Not that there's anything wrong with that, but in terms of just tracking your time, what do you do? How long does it take you to travel to work if you're still traveling to work? I know at the moment things are slightly different, okay? So we're gonna, you're gonna have to allow for that. You're gonna have to allow for that. But what are you spending your time doing? What time is your lunch? How much time do you take in your lunch? How long does it take you to prepare your, your meals? When do you do your laundry? How long does it take you to do your laundry? Etc. 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 Literally do a time audit of your everyday tasks. And this is going to show you areas that you're spending time in that you may not have realized. It might also highlight to you time that you're spending that could be better spent on something else use a timer <laughs> using a timer can be a game changer <laughs> i find that i can set a task put the timer on even put some music on in the background a task like sorting out the laundry or preparing a, a meal or doing some housework i can put a timer and i can set a timer say you know an hour to do the housework I could break that further down to 15 minutes, 10 minutes per area and I can put that timer on and I'm racing against the timer to get that piece of work or that project done. No distractions, nothing. I put that on and away I go and that's almost beating the timer. So the timer could be on your phone, on your watch, it could be a physical timer as well. Even if you have a smart device, you can set the smart device a specific time and away you go a to-do list some people love them some people hate them but a to-do list gives you an idea <laughs> what you've got to do and the way of doing a to-do list that's really useful sometimes it's just literally to do a brain dump just write down 
everything the list can be as long as long as possible literally get everything out on to paper or computer anything you know list in your notes in your phone anything just get a list down i use a to-do list like that and i also use a daily to-do list so the the brain dump to-do list is everything you know it's everything that comes to mind you know sort out the utilities um sort out your finances and when you say sort out your finances it might be to break everything down within that you know make sure your life insurance is up to date make sure your will is up to date you know make sure that you're you're getting the best from your investments from what's in your bank etc etc that could be one area of looking at your finances you know it might be making time to do a weekly monthly budget and checking on that on a regular basis it might be looking at your bank account and making sure the transactions that are coming out are not unexpected transactions you know a to-do list might be to organize your home start decluttering certain areas in the room and then from there you can start breaking down what does that mean does it mean the wardrobe does it mean the chest of drawers does it mean that you know the the books and papers and all your paperwork that you have in your office do they need sorting out that's a brain dump of all of those things it could be to write a letter to somebody send an email it's all of those things just break it down because sometimes the overwhelm is it's all up here it's all up here so what you want to do is take the overwhelm up here Put it onto paper so that you can see it then from that to-do list you can put it in your calendar and this to-do list is never ending it's never ending which brings me to my next point a calendar <coughs> a calendar 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 is probably the most important tool or one of the most important tools in terms of getting from where you are now to where you want to be in terms of being productive, focused and organised. What you need to do is be attached to your calendar to a certain extent. You've done your time audit, you've brain dumped your to-do list, now you have your calendar. Your calendar is going to be your best friend. Your calendar is going to be like that fairy godmother of conscience on your shoulder because what you're going to do, you're going to start putting things within your calendar. When are you meant to do it? You're going to put it in and you're going to make sure that it's done. Try it for a week. If it's in the calendar, that's when it gets done. Yeah, you can play around with it a little bit, but it's important that you put things in your calendar. Leave some wiggle room while you're putting things in your calendar because you're just testing things out. Things may not necessarily go to plan because this is a new way of working for you. Put in your calendar all the things you need to do. The day you're going to do your housework, the day you're going to do your laundry, the day and times when you're going to sit down and read that book you've been meaning to read. The time you're going to take out for self-care, pampering, looking after yourself. Put that all in the calendar. The time when you're going to, you know, make phone calls, catch up with people on social media, Zoom meetings, etc. All should be in your calendar. Even when you're going to do things like your weekly shopping, do your shopping list, etc. All should be in your calendar. You can be quite pedantic about it. Being pedantic is maybe what you need initially just to get the ball rolling. So when your phone is ringing and it's in the middle of when you're meant to be sorting out your finances, you can either pick up the phone and say, I'll call you back once I'm free, or you can let it go to voicemail, or you can send the text and say, I'll call you back in a moment. But the main thing is, is that you stick to what you have put in your calendar. The other thing you need to do is build systems. You want your life and your days and your weeks and your months to be like a well-oiled machine like a well-run business a successful business usually has systems in place and what we need to do is build some systems into our daily life so systems habits routines all of these things will help you i've done some videos on my channel like my morning routine etc and they really do help me to set the tone you can have systems and routines for any part of your life so systems habits routines are important they take the pressure out of overwhelm out of decision fatigue 
When you have a system, you know what you should be doing, when you should be doing. You need to have systems so that we can perform at our best ability or a higher ability. Get rid of the overwhelm, the stress, the confusion and constantly chasing your tail. And one of the biggest things you can do is get rid of your distractions. Well, what are the distractions? For me, my distraction is my mobile phone. So there's times I actually put my phone on do not disturb or on silent or leave it in another room and I just get on with what I'm meant to be doing at that particular time. One of the things that helps me keeping the television off putting music on and getting on with what I'm meant to be doing. I hope these tips help you. They have helped me many times over the years. Remember, you don't have to do everything I've shared. Just pick out what's right for you and go at your own pace. The last thing you want to feel is more overwhelmed. Do share your productivity tips and tools in the comment box. Remember sharing is caring and we're in this together. We're in this together. If you like this video and like to see more videos like this, please do like, comment and subscribe. And of course, switch on the notification bell so you're notified when I upload the next video. Take care. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.